welcome back to another greenhouse grow video today we're not going to show much of the plant even though last time we transplanted it she recovered nicely and the growth is crazy but today we're going to focus on creating a cloning machine now i don't know how hard it's going to be for y'all but it was super tough for me to find a black bucket i had to get one from advanced auto parts and i got the top from home depot because it's flat but once you find a five gallon bucket and a flat top you should be straight I went to my local hydroponics store, grabbed eight net pots, and then I took my drill and drilled in eight holes. I find that it's easier to just do it with the top on the bucket so all the plastic can fall inside the bucket. I got my fountain pump from Harbor Freight. It's a super cheap one. I think it was like 12 or 14 bucks. It's made for a small fountain, but the thing that I really liked about it was that it had a long cord. I had to get my black tubing from Lowe's because I couldn't find it in Home Depot. It's just half inch black pond tubing by Smart Pond. For the T connectors, I went to Home Depot and got the Rainbird ones. You're gonna need three of them. For the tubing, you're gonna wanna cut two two inch pieces, two 13 inch pieces, and one four inch piece. Connect the two two inch pieces to one of the T connectors and then connect the other two T connectors to the two inch tubing that you just added to the other T connector. It should look like what's on the screen. Next, take the two 13 inch pieces and connect them to the T connectors that you just added. We're trying to make a loop, so it should look like this. Lastly, take the four inch tube, attach it to the T square and then attach that to the pump. I found these 360 sprinkler heads on Amazon. They're super cheap, but for mine, I'm only gonna use four. So I drilled four holes and just Put them inside the holes you should follow us on instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes we post on there pretty regularly so go ahead and follow now all you got to do is fill it up with some water and then you're pretty much done i mean you got to take some clones but we'll do that in another video after about a week in the cloning machine the roots were looking like this and we're pretty much ready to transplant them into some actual medium I went ahead and purchased a new timer because we can't have Bertha and her babies in the same tent. So we putting Bertha in a four by eight and we gonna leave the babies in the three by three. Now that I got both tents up and running, I needed a second light. So I got the TS600 from Mars Hydro. It's pretty much plug and play. All you gotta do is connect all the pieces, plug it up. There's no dimmer, so you don't have to do anything. If you're looking to update your grow or just interested in new products, go ahead and check out Mars Hydro using my affiliate link in the bio. But that's going to be it for today's video. Super simple, nothing too hard. If you guys have any questions, of course, just leave a comment. If you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and keep rocking with us to see the growth. Until next video, peace.